Greetings, creative type folks, and welcome to the bunker. You found the major reviews, and this is the major. We have a little bit of boredom down here in the bunker, so we're going to do some really cool creative CAD root type reviews. We're going to look at some software to get you up and productive, let's put it that way. Okay, here we have MOI 3D, Moment of Inspiration. Uh, we're running it on Linux Mint. 17.1 under wine it's really not that difficult just go to the linux mint website and order a cd they got all kinds of good stuff on there and it's just a piece of cake to install so here we are the first uh first thing we're going to do is set the the units to inches uh we're, we're in usa so we're going to use inches none of that french decimal system stuff uh, i like to use three decimal places English obviously uh, and I like trailing zero so here we go uh, display looks pretty good that was our first objective by the way setting default to inches now we're gonna put some geometry on the screen here we're gonna give it a shot and here we go there's the first point and here we go by the way the guys at triple squid did a really good job on this uh, for a, for a lightweight modeler pretty cheap you can pick it up on no veg for 279 uh, but download the demo first, you know, you, you got to get a good feel for what's going on. Okay.
we're using a downloaded dimension tool that uh, I found on the internet. The, the MOI interface doesn't have a dimension command, but it has the ability to add any kind of commands that you want to. You get the right uh, site on the internet, you can download all kinds of them. Uh, so now we are, we got the geometry up on the screen. This is a little clamp uh, gizmo, by the way, just a, just a practice thing. So we got the, uh, now we're going to put some dimensions on it. And the dimension tool is pretty rough, but it kind of does work if you really, really have to use this thing for drafting. It's really just a modeler. MOI is just a, pretty much just a modeler. Not, not that it's just a modeler, it's a, it's a great little modeler for, for what it does. Uh, definitely the best nervous modeler that you're probably going to find to run on Linux. And if you need to do some production on this platform, man, just, just go for it. So here we go, we got we got the dimension uh, tool to work, more or less. Uh, so it does work. We got the geometry on the screen, that's great. We got the radius uh, tool to work, kind of, finally. And that is one of the downfalls of this modeler, too. You really got to practice and get pretty good at adding the radii onto your onto your model. It's, it's not as smooth as probably it should be. Dimension tool, yeah, it, it looks pretty good. You see, you notice there's a, a little glitch I don't know if it's in the wine or it's in it's in the MOI uh, itself. It, it's just a little video card glitch. Uh, this is on a, an HP compact laptop, by the way, 64-bit installation of 17.1, and you, you know you, I just can't complain about it. Seriously, it does everything that Windows 7 could do for me. And and now we're going to explore uh, what kind of creative software we'll run on it. So I hope you. Uh, come along for this series and enjoy it and if so boy by all means give me a thumbs up uh, that really helps you see a bunch of icons over on the right those are some of the programs that I'm thinking about trying out uh, draft side especially that'll be really good the, the free CAD and uh, well we might get the blender we'll see that's one of those maybes so okay here we go uh, you got a browser which what in some other modelers might be your layer or your uh, geometry picker um, you get your colors your st under your styles your colors you can assign colors to objects and whatnot turn the surfaces on and off and, and it's kind of like hide some of you know what hide and some other modelers might be and so this is a good way to only put what you really want on the screen at the, at the, at the time a lot of cool features in MOI 3 I really encourage you to give it a shot on your Linux box and running stuff under Wine is really a piece of cake. It's it's you know practically like running something as an administrator on Windows. It's it's just that easy. Okay, here we got some of the t some of the menus we're going to go through here. And if you're familiar with point curves and how to adjust various levels of curves, if you're if you're using NURBS, you know what cur there are no lines. There are only curves, surfaces, and solids. So you get to pick your level, uh, or you can edit your level. Okay, here let's let's look a little bit at the what kind of O snaps or, or uh, grid snaps you might have? This is pretty pretty cool to tinker with. You can you can actually set the grid color to a lighter or darker color, so you can actually see it. It's not so obvious in this setting right here, but okay, we're gonna run through this menu again. You can see the little wine glass up in the upper left hand corner, showing you that we're using wine here. See that command right there? The underscore dimensions, that's been imported, and I set it to control U on the keyboard, uh, which is what they recommend. Here, here, here you can change your colors, your background colors. Your, you can put, uh, you can change your grid colors in here, put your axis colors on. I like to use red and green. I didn't do that today, but snaps. It's, it's got a lot of features for, uh, for a nervous modeler on Linux. Boy, you're just not going to beat it. This is the the software. So I really highly recommend it. I think you got to download it right now and give it a try. Uh, you get it free for like 30 days. Or you can get another one to where it's perpetual license, but you just can't save anything. A lot of good that'll do you, right? But, you know, for what it is, it's great. Just open the model again. Let's see what kind of files we can open here. We can open IGES, SAT files, STEP files. Illustrator files, uh, PDF, if you've got a PDF that's generated through a CAD system or a DXF file. Don't try to open a PDF that's actually a picture file though. So I'm sure glad you stuck around for this long. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. 
and we'll see you again next time.